doing, David? I'm borrowing some money. Well, you haven't got much left. I know, but I need it. What on earth can you possibly spend it on at this time I'm of uh, going to the casino. The casino? David, we can't afford it. Well, of course we can afford it, because I'm going to win. How do you know? I can't lose, Amy. Not games of chance. When I was out in Malaya, I was known as uh, Lucky Pierce. <laughs> Lucky Pierce? Yes. And do you know why? No, I can guess. A sniper took a pot shot at you from the bushes and the bullet lodged in this deck of cards you were carrying in your left breast pocket. <laughs> and from that moment on, you were known to the regiment as Lucky Pierce. I was known as Lucky Pierce because I won a fortune at Five Card Brag. If you won a fortune, why didn't I see any of it? Well, it's because somebody stole my kit bag in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> what happened to Lucky Pierce? I've always been lucky at cards. Not very lucky with kit bags. Now, don't worry, Amy, there's no risk. I'll stay until I've won, oh, uh, a reasonable amount, and then I'll come away. Do you mean it's as easy as that? Yes. Well, I wish I'd known before. I wouldn't have bothered with Social Security. <laughs> I'll get me coat. No, no, you don't want to come, Amy. Why not? I fancy a flutter. A flutter? That's what you do with your eyelashes, love. Now, this is serious gambling. I shall probably play the wheel. Now, that means high stakes, concentration, coolness, and a strong nerve. Now, I'm not sure you're up to that. Well, you haven't got a strong nerve. Look, what happened when we got that notification from the premium bond? Well, what about it? You nearly fainted. It was only a change of address. <laughs> now, I think I'd better come with you. No, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, I just don't think it's a good idea, love, because you're just not lucky, that's all. How do you know? I could be very lucky. Uh, not for me. What's that supposed to mean? It's not your fault. You were probably born under the wrong star sign. All I can say is I've never had any luck since the day we got married. <laughs> Neither have I. Well, there you are, you see. You're a jinx. Perhaps it's you that's the jinx. Oh, well, we'll, uh, we'll see, shall we? What are you doing? <laughs> I'll prove it to you. Which hand? That one. Oh, there you are, I see. You're a born loser, Amy. Best of three. Right. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, love. It's not your fault. You're just unlucky. Look, now, why don't you have a nice early night and I'll, uh, I'll leave the winnings in your handbag? I don't feel like a jinx. No, love. Of course you don't. We are never blue. No more of it. Red. Hello, David. Oh, Linda. May I watch? I've never seen an expert play before. How much have you won? Well, uh, nothing. Oh. Uh, yet. Actually, I'm studying the wheel. The sequence of winning numbers is proving rather interesting. Once a pattern emerges, I'll be ready to uh, make my move. I keep my fingers crossed. Roulette's terribly exciting, isn't yes, it? Yes, I suppose it is. Although it does tend to lose its excitement once you've uh, played the other kind. What other kind is there, David? Russian. <laughs> You're so impetuous, you frighten me. Where? In Malaya. Nothing else to do in the jungle during the monsoon, rain every day. We'd sit around and have a few beers, and then out would come the old uh, service revolver. One round in the chamber. David, the wrist. Oh, we laughed at wrists in those days, Linda. That's when I became known as uh, Lucky Pierce. Do you think you're going to be lucky tonight? That depends on you, Linda. What? You're lucky for me. I can feel it. But you must stand very close so I can... so I can feel the vibrations. How close, David? Well, we should be touching. That's better. Am I vibrating enough? Oh, oh yes. Do you feel lucky? I think it's going to be my birthday, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm playing the sevens. It was a system favoured by the late uh, King Farouk. Seven, fourteen... Here we go. Put your hand on my shoulder. Let me feel those vibrations. <laughs> oh, never mind. Can't win them all. Did I ever tell you you've got beautiful hands? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Amy. I, I uh, thought you were going to bed. What? Miss all the fun? Give me some chips. What? Now, what's the system? Well, I'm concentrating on the sevens. Seven? Mm. Why? What's the matter? Well, that's not very lucky, David. We were married on the seventh. So what? 
Well, it rained. Well, never mind about that. I'm playing the sevens. Now put the chips on seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Twenty-one? What's the matter now? Well, that's not very lucky either. Mrs. Rogers lived at number 21. Her husband ran her down in her own drive. She had to spend weeks in hospital. I mean, he'd hardly call that lucky. Look, would you just do as you're told? Now, I'm working on the laws of probability. Now, the winning numbers have all been even to the last few spins. Now the tide's turning and I'm playing the odds. Seven, 14, 21. 14's not odd, it's even. What? It's even. Well, I know that. Well, if it's even, why are you betting on it? Look, just leave the arithmetic to me, will you? Hey, would you? Place your bet. Go on, place the bet oh. before it's too late. Madam, oh. <laughs> please be careful when you place your bets. Wait, excuse me, I've got to get to the set. Look, will you wait? Wait, hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh. 21. Hello, oh, Linda. Isn't this fun? We're playing the sevens. It's David's idea, really, because we were married on the seventh. Here's a sentimental old thing. What are you doing? Uh, I thought I'd follow David. Again? Hasn't been too lucky for you so far, has it, Linda? <laughs> he is supposed to be the expert. Yes, but what in? What are you doing, Robert? I'm following the Chinaman. Grey gamblers, the Chinese. He knows what he's doing. I thought they were communist. <laughs> no, not this one. He's never carried manure up the hill for the commune. <laughs> Just look at those hands. Robert. Yeah, it's all right, you can't understand a word I'm saying. Just look at him. Totally impassive. That's their strength, of course, completely without emotion. Win or lose. I've been following him ever since he came in. We've been to the men's room twice. How much has he won? Quite a pile, Amy. Fiendishly clever, the Chinese. They've worked it all out on an abacus, you see. Watch him, here he goes. Mighty baby, me. You follow the Chinaman. Right, Robert. David, David, save the ball. Quick. Excuse me. I need some more chips. Why? Robert says follow the Chinaman. You what? Right, now, the Chinaman's on 20, so the nearest to that is Mother's birthday. That's 16. And then there's the children's ages. That's 12 and 15. Then there's the co-op number. That's 3229. Then there's the national insurance number. That's 30211. Amy. What are you doing? Well, I'm hedging our bets, David. Well, I think you've put down more than we can win. Oh, sorry. Just take them back, will you? Right. Um, I think that went. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got more than we started with. Look, these aren't ours. They're white. These aren't ours. These are orange and yellow. Draw like I don't see. Come on, you. Huh? Come on, you. Come on, you. I'm very sorry. Well, he doesn't understand you. Yeah? Oh, very sorry. <laughs> Faces, David. What about them? Well, they don't look very happy, do they? Well, not now they don't. No more bets. Do you ever see such greed in a human face? Where? Well, yours for a start. <laughs> look at Linda. She looks like a bird of prey. Shut up. Look at all that money on the table, David. What a waste. Think of all the empty mouths it could feed. Yes, ours for a start. Yes. <laughs> You're right there, David. There's a few Sunday joints on that table. Twenty black. Oh, hard lines, David. Twenty. One out. Do you get anything for that? No. Hey, the Chinaman won! I, I know the Chinaman won. Look at all those chips. I suppose that's what you call a Chinese takeaway. Oh, Amy, please. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. How's the expert coming along, David? Oh, all right, Robert. Yes, you haven't got many chips. Well, just uh, biding my time. Well, don't wait too long. You won't be able to afford to rent a deck chair. You should have taken my tip, followed our oriental friend. Uh, no, I don't think so, Robert. Actually, he's, uh, he's too erratic for me. He's winning. Oh, at the moment, he'll lose. He's no idea what's coming up next. Oh, I see. I suppose you have. Oh, yes. I'm putting the lot on number seven. David, don't be now, silly. Keep at this, Amy. Aren't you being rather rash, David? Calculated risk, Linda. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You've set him off now, David. He's not going to lose face. He's going for the big one. Oh, 
What should we do, Linda? I don't know. It's put a fortune on number 30. We could make a killing. Do you think he'll win? But he's had two straight wins. He can't lose. I think he's working it with his foot. <laughs> Either that or he knows the croupier. He'll probably have one more win, then he'll melt into the crowd. This is our big chance. Put the lot on, Robert. Right. <laughs> No more mates. Are you nervous? Amy, I'm a gambler. What makes you think I'm nervous? You smoke in the filter. <laughs> Look, win or lose, it's all the same to lose. me. Lose? You said anything about losing? You said you were going to well, win. Well, of course I'm going to win. Seven red. All right, so I've lost. Don't start complaining. It's not my fault. You've never been lucky for me. Why didn't you stay in your room? David, you've won. You what? Oh, get them. Get them all, Amy. Get them all. Robert, you fool. What? Follow the Chinaman. You must have been out of your mind. Don't you know the Chinese never know when to stop? That's why there's thousands of millions of them. <laughs> well, don't think you're getting your hands on my travellers' checks. Linda, Linda, steady. People are beginning to stir. Let them see the English still know how to lose. I mean, look at our friend here. He must have lost a fortune, but there is not a flicker of emotion. You have to admire his self-control. Brother, I saw. Yes, I know, old chap. It was rotten luck. Yes, you must have lost a fortune. But I want you to know how much I admire your stoicism in the face of what must have been a grievous loss. The money. Again? You've been doing that all day. You'll wear it out. <laughs> well, I'm just making sure it's all there. Well, it'll be your fault if it isn't. You've done everything with that money, David. You've tried to cover the bed with it. You've seen how far it'll stretch across the floor. You've thrown it over your head like confetti. Well, I've never had this much money before. Yes, I must say, it does give me a warm glow when you think of all the financial worries we've had. Well, when are we going to split it? <laughs> you what? When are we going to split it? <laughs> Who said anything about splitting it? Well, it's our money. Our money? Well, I won it, Amy. Yes, but with our money. Oh, well, there you are, then. That should uh, get you through a couple of days. <laughs> Is that all? What happened to for richer, for poorer? Well, that's all right. I'm richer, you're poorer. <laughs> well, you looked after the money the first week. I'm looking after it the second. Do you mean to say you're not going to split your winnings with me? Well, I can't. I need all this. Why? The casino. You're not going back there, David. Well, of course I'm going back there. Just because you had a stroke of luck, it doesn't now, mean... It, now, it was not a stroke of luck. I'm on a winning streak. Nothing can stop me now. This is my big chance, and I'm not missing it. I've, David, I've waited too long. Please don't it's go, all, It's all right for you. You've never known what it's like to be poor. Well, I have. You were born in a semi-detached with a through lounge and a Morris Minor in the garage. <laughs> all we had was two up and two down. We didn't even have a bathroom. Oh, no, not the tin bath in front of the fire. <laughs> All we had was a tin bath in front of the fire. <laughs> your mother... Now, your mother always looked down on me because of that. But not anymore. Things are going to be different. I'm not bothered about things being different. I'm just afraid you might lose. No. No, you're not. You're afraid I might win. What? You've never known me with money before, and it frightens you. You're afraid I might change. I'm not frightened about that, David. Any change would be an improvement. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. Money would enhance me because I know how to enjoy it. I'm not like Robert. It's only made him miserable. But money would fit me like, oh, like a well-made suit. Oh, chase me. It's always the wrong people who've got the money, but not this time. I'm going all the way. And you, now you would better hang on to my coattails. They might get left behind. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you can... Uh, live with my success, Amy. I wonder if you're big enough. And suppose I'm not? Well, nobody's indispensable. What? Now, last night, I did something on my own for a change. I took a risk and I won. And all you could say was, don't do it, David. 
Think of all the Sunday joints. You see, Amy, you're just so, uh, domestic. Domestic? <laughs> oh, hello, Robert. Linda. David. David, I'm surprised to see you. I thought you'd be at the casino. No, no, it's too early, Linda. The real action doesn't start there until later. Will, uh, will you be going, Robert? Uh, no, I think I'll give it a miss. Oh, 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 don't tell me they've cleaned you out. No, of course not. Only I have to be careful. You haven't seen him, I do. Oh, the yellow peril. What? <laughs> Robert means the Chinaman. He's avoiding him. Well, of course I'm avoiding him. It took three people to get his fingers off my throat last night. It's your own fault, Robert. My fault? How did I know he was going to run amok? Well, you should have taken my advice and followed David. After all, he is the expert. I must say I admire the cool, resourceful way you played, David. I thought you were going to lose everything. Well, he who dares wins, Linda. Oh. <laughs> look, uh, oh, look, let me get you two another drink. You can't sit there over those empty glasses all night, even though you are a bit short. <laughs> what? A waiter? Uh, senor. Sangria, por favor. Si, senor. Sangria, paesta mesa. Si, eh? Oh, he's a nice little chap. I must remember to uh, tip him. Oh, I thought you were going to leave that until the end of the week, David. No, no, I think it's better to tip early, Robert. Then you can be sure of the service. Oh, by the way, are you two uh, doing anything tomorrow? Only, uh, I've hired a car. Hired a car? Yes, I thought I'd take a look at some of the property around here. You know, nothing pretentious, just somewhere to hang the hat. Small villa, pool, overlooking the sea. A villa? How terribly exciting, David. What is? David's going to look at property out here. Property, David? A small villa. Nothing uh, pretentious. Oh, nothing pretentious. Just two up, two down, and a tin bath. <laughs> well, I, ju I just thought it would be fun to have a place out here. Hilarious, I should think. Ah, gracias. Now, this, this is for you. For me? For you. It's for me, senor. Si. Oh, Mr. Peace. Mr. Peace. Antonio, Lina. Oh. You're being very lavish tonight, David. Well, there's plenty more where that came from, Robert. It just needs uh, picking up. David's on a winning streak. Yes, you could lose, David. Oh, but that doesn't worry David. No, he who dares wins. <laughs> you see, he's not like you, Robert. He's not frightened to lose. And neither am I. No, you haven't got David's nerves of steel. How much did you win, David? Oh, about um, 60,000 pesetas. 60,000 pesetas? Satyrs. Go on, show it to him, David. Oh, no, they, they don't want to see it. Go on, show it to him. <clears throat> there, you see. Now, you don't win money like that by playing safe, Robert. All this, and David would risk every penny on one flip of a coin. You what? That's the sort of man my husband is, nerves of steel. There is nothing wrong with my nerves. Oh, David thinks you're chicken. No, 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 I don't. <laughs> Robert's far too conservative to gamble like that. Am I? Well, that just shows how little you know. Here are my traveller's checks, David. I think they should come to about 60,000. Now, spin the coin, Amy. Oh, no, no, just, just a minute. Shouldn't, shouldn't, we, uh, shouldn't we talk about this? Why, David? Well, suppose I lose. Well, you can't lose. You're on a winning streak. <laughs> It's a lot of money. Oh, don't be so domestic, David. Now, you're just doing this on purpose. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Chicken? No, Robert, I, I just don't want to take your money off that, so... Robert, don't be silly. This is madness. Spin the coin, Amy. Right. Heads! I... Don't move! <laughs> no, 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 it's tails. It was heads. No, I think it was on its side. Uh, full <laughs> throw. All bets off. I'm sorry, Robert. I'd love to stay, but uh, I've, I've got to wash my hands, Amy. <laughs> May I never be? No more bets. I believe. Hello, David. Amy. How are you doing? Oh, all right. You're not doing all right, David. You're losing. Well, why don't you say it? Say what? I told you so. I'm not going to say I told you so. I'm sorry you've lost. I think you're pleased. Of course I'm not pleased. I'd like to help, but we're broke. 
It's moments like this I wish I got gold fillings. <laughs> well, if you want to help, just stop interfering. I won't say another word, David. Good. Faites, Bougeau, place your bets. Put it all on 35. 35? Yeah. Why? Because it hasn't come up all evening. Well, if it hasn't come up all evening, what makes you think it's going to come up now? <laughs> it's the law of averages, Amy. What about 36? What about 36? Don't you remember? What? It was the number of our last bus home when we were called to. <laughs> Amy, just do as you're told. Allow me to do something on my own, just for once. Win or lose, let this be my decision. I'm sorry, David. 35. Right. I am never blue. No more beds. Think 35. I'm thinking, David. Keep thinking. 35, 35, 35, 35. 36, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35. 36, right. <laughs> We all do things we regret. I suppose you're right. I mean, you're not the only one. I've done something unforgivable tonight. I've been too possessive, too interfering. I'm a bossy, domineering woman, David. Say you forgive me. What have you done? I put it all on 36. Oh, forgive you? I love you. No, what did I tell you? I'm on a winning streak. I knew my luck would hold. Your luck? I put it on. Ah, with my winnings, Amy. Well, then we'll split it, David. Split it? Thank you. Are you, uh, are you feeling lucky? Yes. Right. <laughs> Which hand? <laughs> that one. Ah, uh, hard lines, Amy. I've just got time to get to the casino. Open that hand, Now, Amy. Amy, don't be a bad loser. No, Amy, <laughs> you, you've bitten me. You cheat. No, I'm not. Amy, you're a jinx, Amy. Well, Amy, times. you're born under a wrong star well, sign, Amy. You, that was the difference. Oh, you can't have... Oh, you, 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 you,